We are live from Boston for an Eastern Conference contest with the Celtics. We welcome you this Thursday evening as we get set for some exciting NBA action on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. A quick trip here for the Bucs, just one game away before heading back to Milwaukee. They've come out very strong. Their early season play has been excellent. And it's in your DNA. You come up against a natural rival, you're going to be a little bit salty. You know, that's what makes these games great. I mean, no love lost between these two squads. It's great competition with a little animus sprinkled in there. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are out on the wing. Ilyasova out there with Brooke Lopez, and it's Bledsoe in at the five. A shot's good from Irving. Hard, plenty of speed and explosiveness on display tonight. When you uh, widen your lens a little bit, how do you think athleticism in this league has changed throughout the years? Well, it has grown exponentially, Kevin. When you think about the advanced training methods, the knowledge around nutrition and rest and strength training, so beneficial to the athleticism that we see in the league. As a matter of fact, I question whether or not I would be able to play in this day and age based on the athleticism I had back in the 80s. I would have to really embrace that fitness and um, strength training to another level to play today. Well, I think you would have played in any era and been just fine. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I'm not so sure, though. These guys get after it. They're bigger, faster, and stronger than any players of any era to date. On the Dekumbo against Hayward. Lopez, a screen on Hayward. It's stolen by Brown. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. And Jalen Brown was giving quite the compliment on his game from Draymond Green, who felt, Greg, that Brown was good enough to be an all-star. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I'd be fully on board with that assessment in terms of last year, but I do think he's well on his way to becoming an all-star. His scoring and offensive impact continues to grow each year, and he's shown a great knack on the defensive side as well. Terrific two-way player. The sky is the limit. That free throw good from Brown. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive, as relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. And Brown drops them both. And it's the Bucks ball. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with Mike Budenholzer. And Coach had nothing but praise for his players, saying, they've done everything I've asked. They've put in the extra work in practice, trying to turn their weaknesses into strengths. And that's showing up in the win column. As a coach, Kevin, that's probably the best you can ask for. Back to you. Thank you, David. Irving, great pass to set up the lay-in. Boy, I tell you, I don't know if there's anybody better than Kyrie Irving close to the basket. He has a great feel for how to score inside. Bucks passing it around. Elias Ova a screen. Lopez passes to Andacumbo. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And a season after he won the most improved player. Andacumbo Clark was a legit MVP contender. No doubt about it. I think if the Bucks had been a top seed, perhaps he could have won it, although James Harden was phenomenal last season. The league has been put on notice. This is a guy who wouldn't surprise me at all if he became an MVP at some point in his career. First one drops. You know, since entering the league at age 18, Antetokounmpo has really grown. The Greek freak, now one of the league's premier talents, no doubt. And 
and so he makes both from the line. And you might have heard this story about Giannis growing a couple of inches since he was drafted. But how about the strength this kid is at? Under 200 pounds as a rook. He's added a good 35 pounds of muscle through his dedication in the weight room. He hit Solomon to Takumbo. And even three on three break. Fires top of the key. And there's Ilya Sova on the assist from Adetokounmpo. Boy, Ilya Sova, really an aggressive mindset score. I mean, when he's in rhythm and he's getting the ball in a good spot, he's a highly effective point producer. Irving from long range. Here's Horford. That one, no good. Good D by Bledsoe. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. And Tatum so quick off his feet. Got that nice quick bounce to threat to throw it down when he's close to the bucket. And you talk about under Kumbo's strength, Clark. It serves him well with his attacking style. No question about it, Kevin. I mean, he used to just try to blow by defenders. Now he'll go right through you. He'll get his weight into you, get you on your heels, and then with that unbelievable reach, you've got no chance. No good from Bloodsoe. The Celtics have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Puts it up from 15. Misses off the left iron. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Well, you want to talk about the smoothest players in the league? You can't forget about Chris Middleton. I mean, he's not a blow-you-away athlete, but he has really good length and a sweet stroke, and he can get his shot off any time. And a moment here to check out the stats for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Great showing for him last points per. Ten rebounds and five assists. And the numbers, while pretty outstanding, I mean, we've now come to expect that from this guy. Completely in harmony with what his coach is trying to do there. Just a marvelous all-around talent. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And you look at Chris Middleton, Clark. What doesn't he do well? You know, there's not much. He does a little bit of everything well. He's a smart, versatile defender. He can command the double team with his scoring and punish the double team with his passing as well. He can hurt you a lot of different ways, Kevin. Now, Adetokounmpo following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. Count it. Good. And a nice job from Lopez to catch and shoot in a fluid motion. And for a guy as big as he is, that's really impressive. Here's Horford. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Horford's got his first points of the game. Milwaukee in the lead. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Ilias over. Middleton on the wing. He's covered by Brown. Lopez a screen. That's tipped and stolen by Tatum. From the arc, the shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got three assists tonight. In this day and age, you've got to have the three-pointer in your arsenal, so it's nice to see Tatum working on his three-point shot. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 four, four to start? Yeah, he's setting himself up to be their go-to guy today. Round kicks to Horford. There's a good screen. This is it to Irving. Lazelnik's working the ball around now. To the paint. Here's Hunter Takumbo and the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. Hey, you know, in the age of analytics, there's a ton of talk about player efficiency these days. And as we can see by Hunter Takumbo's performance tonight, his efficiency, extraordinary. Now here's Tatum. Last game, 26 points. A nice shot by Irving. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. For Milwaukee, they've gone 7-9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. And Middleton, the basket on the assist by Ilya Sova. Middleton's got his first points of the night. Austin's gone 2-5 of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Horford kicks to Tatum. Pick by Horford. A deep three from Irving. Off target from three-point range. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Clearly a frustrating missed opportunity there. Perfect screen. Got him the space he needed, but he bricked it. Outside Tatum. Picked by Horford. 
pass to Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Ilyasova passes to Bledsoe. Lopez a screen. Here's Honda Takumbo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you know, the Bucks in recent seasons have employed an aggressive trapping style defensively. Diminishing returns, though, as the league has figured it out. Now they've gone back to the drawing board. good from out of the Kumbo and with the Bucks length and athleticism the pressure style of D made sense yeah you know but when it broke down Kevin they gave up open threes in today's game that's almost as bad as a layup here's what Boston's going with right now Aaron Baines comes in for Al Horford and Marcus Smart is subbed in for Brown the Bucks also changing it up Zeller he's checked in for Lopez Henson comes in for Eliasova and Brogdon subbed in for Chris Middleton Mark, if you need to win a game seven, and you can't have KD or LeBron, but you can have any other one player in the league, who would you pick? Wow, if you can't have either one of those guys. <laughs> How do you like that question? <laughs> There's a great list. Harden, Curry, Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard when healthy. And I think you'd have to throw Russell Westbrook in there, too, for a one-game situation where he could just go with the, the band that he goes with. But I think I'm going to hang my hat with Kyrie Irving since he was part of bringing a championship to the Cavs a couple of years ago in my hometown. Here's the list of players who had the most steals in the NBA last season. Third is Eric Bledsoe. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. First one drops. A former Tar Heel, John Henson is incredibly efficient on both ends of the court. And some changes here for the Celtics. Morris comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Rozier in for Irving. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Della Vadova's checked in. No good on the second free throw. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone, really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Now here's Tatum. Five points in the game. To the inside. It's thrown by Antetokounmpo. And now here comes Antetokounmpo leading the break. That shot no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, unfortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Yeah, you know what? The waters were calm for most of the game. I mean, little resistance. Felt like they could get any look they wanted at any time. And here is Antetokounmpo following Marcus Morris's three. Antetokounmpo kicks to Zeller. Henson with the screen. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard, playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. That's good from out of the Kumbo. And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. Daniel Tice is checked in for the Celtics. Both free throws good from Antetokounmpo. And Boston has possession. 
trailing by four. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. Yeah, some history here, though. Of course, they won that first round series in last year's playoffs and ended up sending them packing. Added incentive in a game like this. I mean, they've got to be ready to rise up to that challenge. Now, here's Brogdon. Following the miss by Marcus Morris, Brogdon. Good work defensively by Smart. For Boston, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Baines passes to Tice. Here's Baines. He's covered by Zeller. Shot clock at six. Morris kicks to Tice. Rogier for three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Celtics trail by four. Nice ball movement by Boston. And yes, it's good. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Henson, a screen on smart. Here's Brogdon. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. How about Brogdon with the floating jumper? You know when he's pulling that one out? He's feeling really good. Tice kicks to Baines. Here's Smart. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Milwaukee leading by four. Matthew Dellavedova, 6'4", point guard out of Australia, and Clark, he is tenacious. Yeah, he really is, Kevin. He's one of those guys who just knows how to play. He's got one stop, and it's aggressive and up into you, all out, all the time. Uh, you remember back in the 2015 final, boy, he was a pest because of how hard he played. Here's Antetokounmpo. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. Rozier with the steal. Here's Morris. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And the long reach of Antetokounmpo. I mean, stretches for days. And because of that, he's excellent at challenging shots. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. Well, he's done it again right there on the offensive glass. I mean, it's a great stretch that he's having here. And, boy, I really admire his energy. Smart, wide open. He fires. And he connects on the jumper. The screen did the trick. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. And it's good, two points. And, you know, Henson's height and length and reach makes him a force on the glass. Uh, he does a nice job chasing down those rebounds. Here's Tice, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Drains it from beyond the arc. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Della Vidova kicks to Ada de Kumbo. Tries again. And the layup is good. Ada de Kumbo's got 20 points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm one setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation Delivered over with the ball the pass to on the kumbo a shot no good on the kumbo he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for milwaukee his production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more and we'll be back with you shortly. Al Horford was born in the Dominican Republic, and he talked about why he gravitated towards basketball instead of baseball. Coming from a place where, you know, baseball is what's driven to us every time. I mean, I started playing baseball. I didn't play basketball. I started playing baseball. And, you know, just watching my dad play basketball, I just fell in love with the game. And people were still telling me, they're like, Nobody makes it out of here, usually out of basketball. I mean, your dad was a very rare case, and, uh, you know, I just believed in it. 
Yep. Wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. And, and what a career. A college championships at Florida, an all-star in the NBA. I think he made the right choice. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? I tell you what, that first quarter, you can see the game plan is a commitment to offensive rebound. And you know what, Greg? It looks like they have an advantage there. I mean, I liked how they've made an effort, really a concentrated effort, to hit that glass. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Uh, gentlemen, and Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. They've got Matthew Delavidova. John Henson out there with Shabazz Muhammad. Then it's Tyler Zeller, and it's Brogdon in at the shooting guard. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Clarky once worked for the Indiana Pacers, vice president of player relations, and, and really had your fingerprints on a lot of part of that organization. Could you see yourself going back to an NBA front office role? I don't anticipate that. I love what I do as a broadcaster. I really feel as though I'm right where God wants me to be. Currently had a wonderful tenure with the Pacers. 32 years between playing, broadcasting both radio and television and then four years in the VP of player relations role. Phenomenal relationship with a number of people, but you know, I think that chapter um, for me is in the rearview mirror. I speak for everyone playing the game, watching the game. We're glad you're in broadcasting, I'll tell you that. Thank you, partner. Rebound, Boston. Up next for them is the Pacers in Indianapolis. They hit the road with that, the first of a five-game run. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Muhammad on the wing. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Marcus Morris picks one up there. You know, Shabazz Muhammad was one of the biggest names in all of high school sports as a senior. He's still trying to find that same kind of buzz and groove at this level. And an important part of every team's game. We'll look at the hustle stats for Boston. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. And the first one at the line is good. Al Horford, he's checked in for the Celtics. Brown comes in for Daniel Jice. misses so he goes one for two and you can see that even though he ties the game up disappointed he couldn't give him the lead good on the shot rogier has got the lead up to two now for the Celtics uh, assists like that have typified their effort today terrific ball movement really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively much more individual play at the other end now here's Brown He's coming off a 10-point game against Detroit. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off him. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up strong. And G.A., in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big mm -hmm. one. Boy, it sure could, Kevin. I mean, he salvaged two big points for them off that miss. The Bucks have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. And that one falls for Zeller. And some changes here for the Celtics. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Smart. And Irving subbed in for Rozier. The Bucks also changing it up. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Henson. Chris Middleton comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. And so Zeller nails both of them. The Celtics with the lead. Outside Irving. He kicks to Morris. Horford sets a screen for Hayward. Horford with a screen on Middleton. Here's Brown. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got his third rebound tonight. 
on deep Ilyasova. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. You got to get out on Ilyasova. I mean, this is an efficient three-point shooter who knows how to pick his spots. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, last season started with that horrific injury to Gordon Hayward's leg. Now, it's been a long road back for him, but he took heart in the encouragement he received, not just from his family, but from so many well-wishers. He said, you realize how lucky you are to have people from all over supporting you. Guys? David, I think everyone is rooting for his complete recovery. Thanks for that report. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Austin making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Muhammad. Six to shoot. Here's Irving. Lopez with the block. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. Wadzo dishes to Lopez. Muhammad sets a pick for Lopez. Baseline try. Rebound Boston. Horford's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. Hayward's got himself on the board with three there. For Milwaukee, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And if there was ever a guy who was more than what his stats say, it's Al Horford. Won't have nights where he drops 50 or carries a team with a shot blocking, but you ask anyone he's played with, and they'll tell you he is a perfect teammate. Here is Hayward following the basket by Brooke Lopez. Hayward outside. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the big men who compete against Horford have nothing but respect for him, Greg. Well, it is why he's been selected as an all-star by his peers and, and, and why guys like Embiid admire his game. I mean, Horford does all the small things on the floor you need as a big man. He's so humble. He just goes about his game and makes his team better in every facet. Now here's Tatum. Five points in the game. Hayward against Muhammad. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to Lopez. Bucks passing it around. Down to five on the shot clock. Fader on the way. Good. And the Bucks lead by two. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Here's Horford, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And for teams not enjoying a quick start to the season, Clark, how long until they start to push the panic button and making some big moves? You know, Kevin, I don't think you ever can push the panic button. I think you have to have a sense of what direction you're going, be realistic about who you are and what you have. And that's where good leadership uh, comes in, not shot. just with the team Two itself, shots. from the coaches to the players, but in your front office, too. I mean, You've got to have some flexibility to adjust to the length of the season and challenges of it and yet still stay on course with your overall plan. First one falls for him. And I really like the uniqueness of Al Horford's game. I mean, he's a big man with a versatile skill set. He makes threes. He can score inside. He defends. He's a guy that is an inside-out matchup problem for most. That one misses. The Bucks have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Bledsoe. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. 
Tell you what, there's not a guard any stronger in the league than Bledsoe. His upper body strength, impressive. Here's Hayward. Second shot opportunity. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Al Horford. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Yeah, those are back crushers. I mean, they really crack your back when you give teams second shots like that. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And some great passing here so far. Let's check out this chart that breaks down where the assists have been coming from for the Bucks. And their bigs have actually played a significant role with their passing. That frees the guards to come up off screens and cut to the rim and kind of flipping the script here offensively. No good from Bloodsoe. Boston's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. From 15 feet away. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Hayward's got five. Eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. It's deflected and stolen by Horford. Over in the corner, Brown. And another basket for Boston. Yeah, I like how Tatum surveys the floor. Great at looking for his teammates, especially when they're open. Hope has a screen. Now Bledsoe, his last outing, he had eight points. And play stops, whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And if you really want to make things hard on yourselves, this is exactly how you do it. Turnovers on back-to-back -back trips down the floor. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing under control. Picked by Horford. Round against Bledsoe. Lock at six. Brown the pass to Horford. Tatum, that's for two. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got assist number five here tonight. And Tatum doesn't let the defense get to him. He's not distracted or bothered. He's got excellent form, stays with his mechanics. Doesn't matter who's defending him. Now here's Bloodsoe. Elias Ova, a screen. Middleton against Brown. And the Bucks miss again. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. You're exactly right. Patrolling the perimeter well. And didn't allow the shooter to get off a clean look. That's what you would call A-plus defense. Now Bledsoe after Chris Middleton missed from long range. The feed to Muhammad. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Muhammad's got five points now this quarter. Nice move on the inside. The defense is there, but Muhammad with the skills and confidence to convert nonetheless. Here's Hayward. Here's Irving. Got a piece of it, and he's able to get it back. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. That sends Kyrie Irving to the free-throw line. That one on Muhammad. The Celtics shooting their seventh free-throw attempt here. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Boston. Marcus Find Smart comes in for Brown. And the Kumbos checked in for the Bucks. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Well, for so long, so many were wondering what Kyrie was thinking when he left Cleveland. What is clear now, though, is that Irving doesn't think about it and has flourished on his own. It seems that he really did just need his own team to become the player he's become. And, yes, it's good. And the Celtics lead by eight. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Bledsoe is screen on smart. There's the pick. Lopez a screen. Muhammad the pass to Bledsoe. From deep three-point range. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. 
And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. Well, Buck, second. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the identity. I mean, they really look to disrupt and cause problems defensively. And boy, do they take advantage on the other end. Outside, smart. The three from Tatum. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. He's gone six of six from the free throw line. And it's a super first half for him at the free throw line. Yeah, he's been his best up there. He's got the confident stroke going today. One misses and some changes here for the Celtics. Marcus Morris comes in for Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Zeller he's checked in for Lopez. John Henson comes in for Shabazz Muhammad. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Chris Middleton and it's Matthew Delavadova in for Eric Bledsoe. And the second free throw good. Celtics leading by seven. Smart kicks to Baines. Morris passes to Smart. Ogier up top. Defended by Della Vidova. Just five on the clock. They set the pick. The three from Tatum. They get it back. The shot comes out. Bucks trail by seven. To the paint. Great D that time from Tatum. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Henson, a screen on Rogier. Here's Hunter to Kumbo. Another shot. Henson shot is off. Austin's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Tatum passes to Rozier, and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Passes it to Brogdon. A beautiful reverse layup. Brogdon's got his second bucket of the night. You know, Malcolm Brogdon is not the biggest guy, but that does not stop him from being aggressive and assertive inside. Smart kicks to Tatum. Ball's knocked loose, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And with a moment, let's check out the stats for Brogdon, how he did last season. Put up about 13 points per, three assists, and three rebounds. And, and playing with the reserves, he might not get the minutes he'd like, but you sense that hunger to improve. Well, you know, he stated that he wants to improve, but until that actually happens, he'll continue to come off the bench. Now, Henson after Marcus Smart missing on that last three-pointer. And Henson kicks to Delavidova. The Bucks working the ball around. Here's Honda Takumbo. Here's Zeller. And the dunk by Zeller. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up Greg with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you young fellas. Look that up. Pigeon. Celtics making a switch here. Horford's checked in. And that one misses. Celtics leading by three. You're smart. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Over in the corner, onto the Kumbo. Now here is Della Vidova. Rogier defending. Della Vidova kicks to Henson. He dishes it to Antetokounmpo, and they double up onto the Kumbo. 
And they force the shot clock violation. 18. Here's Smart. He's got six and stolen by Zeller. If they increase the tempo, they got a chance at a two for one. Execution paramount. Speed it up and put the defense on their heels if you can. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Della Vidova kicks to Adetokounmpo. Stolen by Smart. It's stolen by Adetokounmpo. And even three on three break. Now here's Zeller. It's tipped. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Smart. Man, you love the effort. Just getting the hand in there and knocking it out. Really came close to the pilfer. But they'll take that effort. Mucking things up is sometimes just as good as a steal. Here's Honda Takumbo. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Celtics lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, Kyrie. What got you going in the first? Uh, my teammates were just finding me, setting the screen, and just stay aggressive not only for myself but for them. Uh, you know, we are kind of in a hole in the first quarter, kind of sluggish, came out in the second quarter, kind of sluggish, but just got to pick it up on the defensive end. That's where it starts. Kyrie, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play, everybody. Welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slightly better team. Not by very much, however. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, I see a team that's playing smart. Moving the ball around to the open man, just taking what the defense gives him. There's a nice flow, a nice energy, a nice synergy to the game. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. When you think about giving up three or four extra turnovers, that can mean eight or nine points at the other end. That's why every coach preaches it. Take care of the basketball. Bottom line, they need to protect the ball and play under control. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And as we return, we get a look at the Boston skyline. Those drone cameras are really something. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Unbelievable the way he dominated that offensive glass in those first two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Guys, you've heard me say it before, but persistence pays. And it takes that kind of persistence to be a successful offensive rebound. As a fellow glass eater, I know of which I speak. Those guys that rebound effectively don't give up on it. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. Irving at point with Brown to his side. There at the backcourt. Horford is out there with Tatum. And it's Hayward in at the three, the small forward. That's the Boston five. Shots good by Bledsoe. You cannot allow any separation, especially to Bledsoe, because he's a legit threat to shoot off the screen. Hayward on the wing. Under the Kumbo defending. Count that one. Hayward's got his third basket of the night. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Middleton on the wing. Lopez dishes to Middleton. And it's blocked by Brown. Austin leading by three. Outside Irving. Hayward on the wing. Picked by Horford. Six on the shot clock. Irving for three. That's all good. And that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. 
Boy, you look at Mike Boldenholzer, and he's uh, moved into a nice situation this offseason. Atlanta in rebuild mode, and the Milwaukee Bucks heading in the other direction. One of the best teams in the East. That's a good landing spot for Boldenholzer. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That'll be his second foul of the game. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. And Budenholzer, well-respected around the league. Talk about what he brings now, Clark, to the Milwaukee Bucks, his new team. Yeah, I think he brings a continuity offensively, ball movement and spacing, and a pretty good system defensively as well. Offensive rebound, Horford. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Horford's got nine. Boy, he's dangerous right now. He feels like he's making every shot he puts up. They set the screen. Middleton with it. Picked up by Brown. Here's Honda Takumbo. Honda Takumbo can't get that one to fall. Celtics leading by six. Oh, Tatum in position. Hammers the alley oop through. And, you know, if you throw it up, Tatum will go get it now. He's a really good athlete. You can't let him roam free like that. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. Now here's Middleton. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Round against Middleton. Jumper off the screen. And it's Boston with another. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Brown inside, defended by Middleton, pushing their lead to double digits. Eight points for Jalen Brown. And that monster lead continues to grow. They are just piling it on now. Yeah, it looks too easy for him. Almost looks too easy for him, I should say, Greg. I mean, their chemistry really, really at a high level. Timeout called the Bucks. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. You could see it in that game, despite the odds going against them. Once it got to OT, they had that belief and resolve that they could win. And, Greg, sometimes we've seen it happen where a team that's supposed to be the underdog gets the game into OT, and then the momentum their way. And there's the bucket from Tatum. you got to respect the basketball IQ of Tatum. I mean, when the defense is not guarding him tightly, he's going to shoot that ball off the catch. Hayward against Ana de Kumbo. Ana de Kumbo setting the pick for Middleton. Ludzo against Irving. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. And again, the Bucks miss. Celtics leading by 12. Outside Irving. The rebound by the Bucks. Honda Dekumbo has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. From 12 feet out. Elias Soba can't hit. Here's the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 15 to 4 run. It's stolen by Honda Dekumbo. And now here comes Honda Dekumbo leading the break. And the shot goes in. Honda Dekumbo has got six here in this quarter. It is simply amazing to watch Antetokounmpo sprint the floor like an Olympic track star, covering up so much ground with those long strides the way he does. Mm, mm, mm. Bucks trail by 13. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Middleton outside. Ludzo a screen on Brown. Lopez a screen. Just five to shoot. Ludzo for three. Doesn't go that time. Some solid defense there from Irving. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And a chance here to take a look at the shooting chart for Anna Dekumbo. 
right now, after looking at that chart, you, you pretty much can just jog down the court. <laughs> he gets it in the paint. That just time and time again, he's worked his way in close and oh, made a shot a over a, a defender or found Two another shots. way to convert. Just great stuff coming from him thus far. That's good from Adetokounmpo. And the Bucks with some changes. Shabazz Muhammad comes in for Ilyasova. And Brogdon subbed in for Chris Middleton. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Boston leading by 14. They set the screen. Brown the pass to Irving over Bledsoe. And that one hits back iron. Milwaukee has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And not uh, the best season for Brooke Lopez a year ago. Never seemed to be in the form we're used to seeing him in. Normally, Kevin, he's so efficient and just didn't make the shots at the rate he normally does. He ended up being uh, more of a role-playing big man than a centerpiece. And I think he's still got plenty left in his fuel tank, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him bounce back with a really strong season. Handling and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. Inside, Lopez with the steal, and it's the Bucks on the break. Bledsoe's running, and taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they've defended the rim as they've challenged every shot and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. And here is Tatum following the three from Eric Bledsoe. Five to shoot. Here's Hayward banked in off the glass. Hayward's got nine. And Tatum is all about doing what's best for the team. Superb as a ball mover in terms of finding his teammates. Now here's Bledsoe. He has seven. And the double up out of Dekumbo. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially, Greg, when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. I think that's a critical timeout, too, Kevin. I mean, they need to find a way to slow him down, shut him down, because he's tearing them apart right now. And some changes here for the Celtics. Marcus Morris is checked in for Tatum. Smart comes in for Brown. And it's Rozier in for Irving. And then for Milwaukee. Zeller, he's checked in for Lopez. And Ooh. Ooh. That's how you attack. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> my, my, my. How about the flash by Anta Tecumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Out of bounds, Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Muhammad. Here is Hayward. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Rozier. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. And here is Zeller. Left side out of the Kumbo. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. 
pass to Rozier. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Rozier's got nine. And breaking down some numbers here, that's for Boston. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive end. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. It's stolen by Morris. Hayward's got space, and again it's Boston converting. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half, but since the break, he's been on target. Now here is Della Vadova. Rogier defending. And now here's Rogier, the fast break chance. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You got to be mindful of that. With his first shot attempt. Oh, good on that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. He's got 13. Oh, great ball movement there. Bucks trail by 17. It's Hanadokumbo on the wing. And the double up Hanadokumbo. And stolen by Hayward. And another fast break chance here for the Celtics. Here we go. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Milwaukee. On Sunday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. Then on Tuesday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And he makes the first. And no doubt Smart is one of the better defenders at his position. Quick feet are complemented by that strong frame. And he just digs in and, and against would-be scorers and just never lets them get comfortable. And so Smart nails both of them. And Greg was smart when he's off the floor or injured. You notice just how it changes the team's defense. Yeah, I mean, the, the defense overall just seems to have less bite, less edge, less toughness without smart. And, and the way he plays, you feel like he is looking to make a play on defense rather than just trying to slow his man down. Great at taking charges and forcing turnovers. He is truly the catalyst of their defense. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. a chance to check out stats for Marcus Smart. Last season's performance for him. Last year averaged 10 points per game. Four assists and three rebounds. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. Yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Have jumper, will travel. I'm telling you. Most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketballs. Had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough, but that's how you win games. Billy's the long-range jumper. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. Well, they're dialed in. Locked and loaded from outside the arc. It's all about the triple so far. Stolen by Smart. Here's Morris, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And converted more than four out of every five free throw attempts last year. So just solid at the line. Yeah, those were fine numbers he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike.
He misses the free throw. And the Bucks making a change here. Bloodsoe's checked in. And he's good on the second. There's 138 left here in the third quarter. To the middle. Here's Henson. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got three assists in the game. Smart kicks to Hayward. The pass to Rozier. Horford sets a screen for Hayward. Down low. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Ludzo and the layup's good off the glass. ludzo has got seven points for the quarter. He is pointing on in the second half, guys. I mean, a much better showing than he had before the break. Rozier the pass to Hayward. Horford with the screen on Brogdon. Rogier for three, and again, Boston with the triple. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. The shot by Brogdon wide open, and another basket for Milwaukee. Hey, and you know, really, Antetokounmpo could look to score every time, and sometimes that's necessary, but he's also good at recognizing when one of his teammates has a clean look. Horford with it. 17 points in the game. To the inside. Smart misses. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Henson, and he makes the bucket. Drew contact and gets the whistle, too. Yeah, nice job that time by Henson utilizing his size perfectly. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. You know, yeah, guys, last year was a rough one for him at the stripe. I mean, it's going to be hard for him not to improve on those numbers. They were that bad. The free throw off from Henson. Hayward kicks to Smart. Again, the Celtics good for two. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. It's stolen by Morris. And so it's the Boston Celtics. Holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Austin leading by 22, setting the floor for the Bucks. They've got under Jacumbo. Ludzo is out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's John Henson, and it's Zeller in at the five spot. And it's Horford with the extra effort. Horford's got 12 points here in the second half. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. And Zeller kicks to Ante Dekumbo. And Ante Dekumbo slams it in. Absolutely awesome to watch Ante Dekumbo rise up for these throwdowns. I mean, it's really quite easy for him. Horford with a screen on Bledsoe. Knocked loose. And now in transition is Bledsoe. Here we go. Here's Ante Dekumbo. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. Hayward's got three rebounds so far in the game. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up 
shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Horford with a screen on Bledsoe, and here's Morris for three. They grab their own miss, so the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Clark, an interesting aspect of the one-and-done controversy. Increasingly, these guys are being asked to take on a big role in the NBA right away. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? I'm all for guys that have the unique ability and opportunity to play pro basketball out of high school or after one or two years of college. I would love to see college kids hang around for two or three years, but that's not realistic for the supremely gifted. Um, but it does put pressure on your teams if you're expecting these young guys to come in and impact winning right away. Takes a little time, most cases, for even really highly talented players to become winning NBA players. Jalen Brown's checked in for Marcus Smart. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. So Horford gets two. The Bucs have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. And he's going up for the alley-oop and slam dunk by Henson. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open guys. Bledsoe against Rogier. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Bledsoe. Over Rogier. And the shot no good, a bit short. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. To the inside, and onto Takumbo, slams it in. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Hayward passes to Brock. Celtics passing it around. Rozier. It's hauled in by Ilyasova. Ilyasova's got his third rebound on the night. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. John Henson two drafted shots. out of North Carolina. Only weighed 215 pounds as a rookie. He's still lean and slender, but has added enough muscle to hold his own inside. And at 6'11", some people had Ensign listed as a power forward. Well, you know, in today's game, he's almost exclusively a center. His mobility helps. He's a shot blocker who's comfortable scoring around the basket. Uh, the five spot is where he's most effective, I think. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Kyrie Irving comes in for Terry Rozier. So he makes one of two as the second. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Adetokounmpo against Hayward. Middleton for three, and a great assist by Adetokounmpo as that one goes in. Adetokounmpo's got six assists in the game. Eliasova against Tatum. Pick by Horford. Here's Irving. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. And the Celtics lead by 20. And the mid-range shot of Irving is impressive. He has wonderful form with that shot. There's the pick. And to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo on the follow. Onto Takumbo's got 41. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Horford with a screen on under the Kumbo. 
Hayward kicks to Brown. Clock at four, picked by Horford. Shoots the three. And it's Brown missing. Bucks trail by 18. Now Henson. And the double up on to Kumbo. And stolen by Hayward. Pulls up. Here's Brown. And Henson sends it back. Boy, I like seeing Henson make good use of that real reach of his to deny shots. And the double up on to Kumbo. And slam dunk by Henson. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Tatum wide open. He fires one. It's good from long range. He had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. To the paint. Here's Middleton. And a great assist by Blunso as that one goes in. And that's now seven points for Chris Middleton. Irving dishes to Horford. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Bucks trail by 19. Bloodso kicks to Ilyasova. Back to Bloodso. Ilyasova a screen. For a three, Middleton sinks the three-pointer. Middleton's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Bucks. For Boston, they've gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Tatum, that's for two. Again, the Celtics good for two. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, the defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Brooke Lopez has checked in for Milwaukee. That one misses. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. From deep, Ilya Sova. And Boston with the rebound. Irving's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. To the middle. Wants to get it to Brown and does. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Here's Honda Takumbo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got four assists now tonight. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Here's the teardrop, and it's Horford with the extra effort. And the Celtics lead by 19. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. And now, look at Boston's upcoming schedule. On Saturday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And then on Monday, they'll be taking on Paul Millsap and the Denver Nuggets. Two shots. That free throw missing. And he's been to the line much more here than he was in that first half. He's not playing nearly as tentatively as he was earlier. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. 
And when the Celtics traded out of the first overall pick in 2017, you know, many Greg thought they were settling for Jason Tatum for team needs. But he might be the best overall player in that draft. Listen, the Celtics said they would have been fine taking Tatum first overall, and I believe it. I mean, Tatum looks like he could be a superstar very early in his career and does everything at a high level and is already a terrific shooter from deep. Plus, he just has a poise and an air about his game that speaks of superstar. Free throw dropped for Al Horford. Eric Bledsoe is checked in for John Henson. And Al Horford drops them both. Bucks trail by 18. Bledsoe kicks to Ilya Soto. Bledsoe passes to Anadokounmpo, and it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Bucks working the ball around. Bledsoe against Irving. No good from Bloodsoe. Austin leading by 18. With the shot. And Tatum the bucket on the assist by Hayward. Tatum's got 11 in the second half. And you know, Hayward's floor recognition and composure, really impressive. Knows precisely when to pass over to the open man. No good from Bloodsoe. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with. It's a tough day so far. Pass to Tatum. Picked by Horford. High post shot. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Milwaukee has gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. To the inside. And that one drops. Honda DeCumbo's got 45 points. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is can they ride him and get back into it? And there's the call on Giannis Honda DeCumbo. And that'll be his third foul so far. May have been the 90s, Clark, and we saw the pick and roll really become a, a common type play. Defenses have now adjusted somewhat, but many offenses still rely on it now. Man, you go way back to the 50s and 60s. The pick and roll has been one of the hardest plays to defend since really basketball came into existence, quite honestly. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and now with the interchangeable parts that many teams have, you have the real challenge of small greens on big guys and creating havoc. So screen and roll action, always a very important part of the game and a hard set to cover well on defense. Drills the three-pointer. Ante DeCumbo's got 48. And I tell you, once Ante DeCumbo starts hitting this consistently, it's a wrap. Over, Finney, done. Gold to black, encouraging to see him knock down. Irving kicks to Horford. Back to Irving. Three on the clock. The kick out to Brown. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got assist number five here tonight. And now they are probably too far ahead. It's going to be nearly impossible to get back in this one. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Greg. I mean, they're in a groove right now. Up big, hard to envision them losing this lead. There's a minute 47 left here in the fourth quarter. There's the dish to Tatum. Hayward outside. In the recent CBA, there have been a lot of provisions put in there for retired players. Health insurance, increase in pensions, Clark, reimbursement for tuition. 
What do you think of these changes? Love them, Kevin. Absolutely love them. And again, credit to the league and to the Players Association for uh, thinking outside the box, reaching back to benefit some of the former players that are actually in need of these benefits and deserving of them. Come on now. Those guys paved the way in many ways for what we see of the league. Now, most players appreciate and recognize that, and for it to be tangibly recognized and rewarded is um, great to see. I love it. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will, and you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Celtics. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And now for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. Greg, I don't think it'll play out quite that simply, though. The team coming out on the losing end of game one is just that much more motivated to get even in game two and three. So I think the edge goes to the losing team. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Horford. There isn't much else you want from someone. He gave it his all and was rewarded with a triple-double. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Middleton, the former second-round pick now, has put a lot of work in on his game. I mean, a ton of work. Really carving out a nice spot in the league as a result of his hard work. Middleton hits them both. And Chris Middleton, 39th overall pick back in 2012, a throw-in in the Brandon Knight, Brandon Jennings trade. Yet, Clark, you know, you look back, and he was the best player by far in that deal. Kevin, a player's individual journey of development is hard to predict. He's now one of the best two-way wings in the league, and I think he surprised a lot of people, but it's a credit to his work ethic and his skill level. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Rozier kicks to Smart. Back to Rozier to the right side five on the clock another shot and it's off the back rim no good and so it's Boston easily grabbing this one they poured it on tonight dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it and you know this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best I mean being here at home no doubt helps and the execution was flawless and now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in, and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you later.